everybody, it's Kelly. So this is gonna be the simplest Sunday recipe ever. It's how we make peanut clusters. So let's get down to it. I'll show you how to make them. I like to do double the chocolate and half of the white. So there's six squares here, okay? And you can break them up if you want or just throw them in there, it doesn't matter. We're gonna be putting them in the microwave. The first time I put it in, I put it in for a minute. And then I go 30 seconds after that until it's melted enough that we can use it. So we're going to put this in the microwave for one minute. And there won't be much to stir because it'll still be full. But you want to go ahead and move it around anyway. Okay. So we're going to set it back in the microwave for 30 seconds. All right, 30 seconds has gone by. Now, if you leave it in longer, you might burn it. And you don't want to do that because then it's real crystallized and then you just can't use it. So make sure you move it around in your bowl. Okay, you still have some big clumps left. Okay, so let's put it in for another 30 seconds. Now with almond bark, you gotta work kinda fast. So you don't wanna make any bigger of a batch than you know that you can get done before it decides to harden up on you. Okay, now we just got little bitty things left. So 30 more seconds and that will be perfect. Let me bring you over a little closer. See, but there's a few clumps still in there that I can't mash down. Thirty seconds, and then we'll be done. All right, that was thirty more seconds. Yep, all the lumps are out of it now. So now we're going to add the peanuts. And John just came in and said he needed to boil a thermostat. <laughs> okay, so he's going to do that, and I'm going to make peanut clusters. Put down some wax paper. It's kind of a just to fill it, fill it out and see how much you can get in there. Depends on if you like a lot of peanuts. Not so many peanuts. Yeah, that's just about perfect. And I find the flatter they are, the better they are. So you just take them by the spoonfuls and you can make them as big as you want, as little as you want. Uh, when John makes them, he, he likes to stack them up like that but I like to just put them down so that they're a nice, flat, wonderful peanut cluster. I know these are huge, but that's the way we like them. All right, so I'm gonna finish these and I'll show you how much I got out of nine little squares of almond bark. All right, so we got us a good batch of peanut clusters. Now, if you made them small, like I did some of these, you could get double but don't those look delicious nice creamy chocolatey peanut clusters okay so cleanup is real easy if you do it right after make sure you have some really really hot water put a little bit of i i use dawn i find dawn works really good but it's gotta be really hot Now, if you let this dry, which I have before, it's a lot harder to get off. And so you just want to do it immediately after you get all your peanuts out of there. Cleans up real easy.
lid that was loose all around there. Yeah, and so I think it's worth a shot. Wouldn't explain the overheat. See, it's, it's open and now as it cools off, that thing will go back closed. It cools off, so we'll... So that's not the problem. <laughs> well, this is, the rubber doesn't look all that great. No, look, Okay, now we got those men out of my kitchen. <laughs> oh, I'm very grateful for those men. That's my brother, Scott, and my husband, John. And they are working on my car because it's been overheating. All right, let's take a look at these peanut clusters. They've been sitting here about eight minutes. And you just want them not to be, you know, soft. You want them to be breakable and edible. My favorite. Mmm. You know, we don't make these any other time of the year, only during Thanksgiving and Christmas. Thanks for joining me, you guys. Until next Sunday, go out and enjoy life.